Hello friends, it's Frankie with Meekspace.org. Today I wanted to show you how to convert an EPUB file to a PDF file using your uh, Apple device. First thing you need to do is visit the App Store. In the uh, search in the top right corner, type in The File Converter. You should come up with The File Converter on the left hand side by Ghost Mobile. Go ahead and install that. It's not free, I believe it's $2.99. Once you've installed that, then you'll want to go to the browser and go to JW.org. Now I use Documents, the browser that's built into Documents, uh, because I like to download stuff directly into uh, Documents. So I'm going to JW.org. And here I'm going to go ahead and just grab the publication, the Watchtower, the, the latest study article for the purpose of this de uh, demo. Here we're going to go ahead and download both versions of the Watchtower, the EPUB version. And the PDF version. And when those are done, we'll go take a look at them inside our Documents Downloads folder. You notice we've got an EPUB test and a PDF test. Now I just want to open the PDF and show you what the one looks like directly from JW.org. So you notice you don't have uh, scripture links. Um, now, using documents, you can highlight, which you can't do inside of iBooks in a PDF. But in documents, you can highlight and add notes. But there's no scriptural links. So what we're going to do is take the EPUB and turn it into a PDF that has those links. So we'll go ahead and go back. And we're going to open the EPUB file there that we downloaded with our file converter. So in Documents, we're going to hit Edit. Over on the left, we're going to choose, well, first of all, you're going to highlight the file you want to open. So we want to open that uh, EPUB test file that we created. And then on the left, we're going to open in. And we're going to choose our file converter that we downloaded. Now here we want to, if you notice there in the center of the screen, we want to scroll down to EPUB, or we've got an EPUB, we want to make it a PDF document. So we'll choose PDF document from our little list there, and we'll select Go. Usually this doesn't take that long, but it really just depends on how big the file is and what uh, type of internet connection you have because right now in order to do this conversion your iPad has to be connected to Wi-Fi so it can get on the internet because it's using an online tool to do the conversion here and so that's what we're doing here is um, the app is kinda doing that behind the scenes we don't really see that happening so once it uh, converts it, then it'll download it, then it's going to ask us where we want. We've got an open choice, so we'll just choose open and choose our document application again. When we do that, it's going to open up that PDF for us. Now this is the one we converted. Now if we scroll back through, you notice first of all it's got some links there that didn't have. They look a little bit strange, but if you keep scrolling over, now you'll see your links to the different study articles. So if you go ahead and click on one of them, you'll notice now we have linked scriptures. And if you click on that link scripture, it'll take you to a page with the scriptures there. And then you can just simply hit the, the link back again to go back. So you can scroll through. So this is basically now a PDF file, but 
because we converted it from an EPUB, we have links. We didn't have to do anything special. The uh, file converter did it for us. Also, if you use documents, in here you can highlight. Also, you can add a note. And you click on the note. There's the note. The highlight. You can tap it. You can change the colors. You tap it. You can clear it. It really works pretty good. So that's how to convert an EPUB into a PDF and have links. You can do it yourself, and you can do it right from your Apple device. Here in a little while, look for a video showing you how to do the same thing with an Android device. You'll get, you're going to use the same program, the file converter, that's uh, you know just the Android version of that. And I'll show you that video soon. Thanks.